Hey everyone, Ken Surfs here. Time for another shave video. This one I'm kind of excited about because never in my lifetime have I went into a store locally and seen a Gillette DE safety razor on the shelf available for purchase. Now, even in the late 80s, when they were phasing out the DE razor, locally, I did not see any Gillette Black Beauties, any DE razors in the local pharmacies or supermarkets here around my area. It was always the Atra or the Track 2. I never seen one. And until now, I went into the Walgreens, the closest one to my house of all places, and there on the shelf was the new King C Gillette DE Safety Razor. So this is a first for me. I mean, you could go in and find those micro touch, you know, the one from the Pawn Stars, or they had a Vanderhagen in there, but not a Gillette. And I know the critics are out, out going to say, hey, man, it's not really a Gillette because it wasn't made here in the U.S., but uh, they've got their name on it. And I'm hoping that it's a stepping stone. I'm hoping that they're testing the waters and they're, they're them, Wilkinson Sword, Schick, if they're still around. I think Schick's still around. If they see that there's somewhat of a demand, maybe they'll crank open those factories. So I'm going to try not to be controversial in this one. I understand it's not made in the U.S. I understand a lot of things about it. But I'm just going to try it for the first time. See how it works for me. You guys decide. You don't want to buy one. Don't buy one. I was just... I never have seen one on the shelf. A Gillette razor, safety razor, in the last 30 years. And I don't ever recall when I was younger seeing one locally. But enough of that. So I went into Walgreens and they had that razor for 23 bucks. So right away, it's less expensive than the Heritage that was available only on Amazon. So you couldn't really go in and take a look. And then they had a lot of products. They had the shave creams. They had a lot of stuff on the shelf. I went into one Walgreens a little farther away from my house and they didn't have nothing. It was just cartridges. This one close to my house actually had a Vanderhagen, had a couple of generic type blades, and it had a King C. Gillette display with this on it. So I'm going to try this out for the first time today with the blade and see how it is. And I'm going to tell you everything I know that I found out about it. And uh, I saw there's five other guys right now have a video on YouTube reviewing this. And I started to look and I thought, no, if I look... You know, I might be biased or say something, repeat something they've said. So I do want to go on record and say, hey, I've got some growth. Uh, my wife knows I've got the hair growth going because it's irritating her. Uh, you know, it, it, it. anyway, I've got some hair growth going. So we're going to, uh, beard growth, we're going to shave that off today. I'm going to just use uh, some products I'm from, very familiar with. I'm going to use uh, some sandalwood. I'm gonna use a, a restored EverReady brush. And going back to a little bit of an old school, I'm gonna use some Jovan Musk, which is probably gonna piss off the family. I wore that polo green yesterday and it really pissed off the family. You smell like an 80s nightclub. I had to wash it off. That scent lasted. All right, so here is the box the King C. Gillette comes in. Gonna open it up. There you go. First of all, I'm gonna look at the blades. I think it said it comes with one blade. So if there's only one blade in here, that's a waste. Uh, fine grooming. Let's see here. Okay, there's nothing really on the box to indicate where it's from, but on the back of this box, It doesn't say, or uh, wait a minute. Yes, it does. Handle made in China, blades made in Russia. It doesn't say about the head, but I'm gonna get to that in a second. So first of all, let's crack open this pack of blades, see what we're getting. Oh, they are giving me a few. Individually wrapped. got embossed on there the King C. Gillette. I don't know if you can see that. Kind of embossed on there. 
fine grooming since 1903 or 1903, uh, King C. Gillette. Nothing on the back, just on the front. Don't cut yourself. That would not be a good shave video. All right. Now here we have the razor. This might go a little longer than my usual shaves, which are usually fast, but people have questions. Right away, this monster is heavy. It's heavy, real heavy. It's, it's heavier than the Mula R41, and all the weight is in the handle. This is very heavy handle. I looked for my scale, my postal scale, to see how many grams it is. I don't have it. I couldn't find my postal scale, of course, but uh, it, this is way, way heavier than the Heritage uh, handle. And this is the one that's made in China. Uh, trust me, she's heavy. It's got knurling on the top, but smooth at the bottom. But if you've seen me shave, I usually choke up on a razor. So if it was all smooth, I probably wouldn't like it because I'd probably drop it. Now, the head. King C. Gillette. I believe this is made in Germany. Let me tell you why. Looks like German to me. The Heritage did not have this card under it. So I'm going to take this little card out. Man, I've had mega coffee. It's lunchtime, too. I haven't ate yet, so. Cutting these during the lunchtime. Oh, I forgot to mention this in the last video. I really, really want to send out my thanks to all of you people who are serving on the front line of this COVID-19. Thank you to the nurses, the doctors, the law enforcement, the military, the grocery clerks, the, the gas station attendants, all of you who are on the front line. Thank you very, very much. I do appreciate it. An RN commented, he goes, you're complaining about being cooped up in the house. We're on the front line every day. And he is right. That nurse was right. Uh, they deserve our appreciation. Thank you very much. I'm just going nuts with a family. Shh. I hope they don't watch this. All right. So let me take the card out of there. This head looked identical to the head used in the Heritage. I don't know if it's a Mula. I don't think it's a Mercure, but it appears to be the identical head as was in the uh, Gillette Heritage. All right, so let us try this blade. It's got the three point holes in there to hold it in place. Very little overhang, very little. It's got a long threaded shaft there. So it's locking in very nice. And you know, you can usually tell it's a little bit of wobble, but it, it's pretty tight tolerance there. Let's see. It appears to be very even right off the top. And you would expect that with the German made safety razor head. So there we go, ready to go. Sorry, I didn't have the scale. wet the face. I usually would wait two days for some growth, but I really wanted to try this out. I'm using the synthetic brush, so I don't really don't have to soak it in the crystal skull today. I just have to get some of the water out of it. And I didn't cut myself yesterday, so I'm not going to open up any new wounds. So you're going to see if I cut myself. Maybe the blade, maybe the razor combo, but I've used this soap many, many times. So I doubt it's the soap. All right. 
sandalwood. Someone asked if I bloom my soap. Sometimes I do. I'm always hoping that uh, Gillette reads the comments of you guys. And again, if you leave a negative comment that has cuss words in it, it's not me. YouTube won't publish it, you know? So maybe they're not reading them. And I understand they made that commercial. I understand a lot of you do not like that. I do understand. Okay, right away, I like that. I can grip this handle. I can grip it very well. So far, so good. All right. Ooh. It's a tad above a mild razor. It's not as, doesn't feel as aggressive as an R41, but it's a tad above my Mercure 34C. I can tell because, oh yeah, she's, she's digging in and cutting good. Hear the feedback? This is going to be the test down here. All right. I might have to buy a pack of these blades. Let's see here. I didn't look at the cost of blades. Shh, sorry. I know they're not going to be as cheap as eBay from India. <laughs> All right. That heavy handle feels better than the Heritage, but I did like the packaging on that Heritage, that clamshell. I did that card test. I heard from a couple of guys who were in the Army, and they said that was the, uh, the test to see if uh, you were shaved correctly. One of my friends, Thomas, said he always failed that test. All right. So far, so good. Let's go round two. Have a very weird feeling seeing your Let's products on the shelf that weren't cartridges. I bet these go on eBay. I bet you somebody goes in, buys them all off the shelf, especially for 23 bucks. Sells them for 29, makes some profit. I'm not advocating that, but I know somebody's going to do it. If they ever come out with a Black Beauty or a Fat Boy, I'm going to go buy a few off the shelf and just put them away or give them to friends as gifts. And that's my ultimate goal. I'm not doing this as an influencer today. I'm doing this as a reviewer to see how it works for me. Would be nice to go see several Gillette razors, especially if you had one made in the United States. Do you guys know when they were made in the United States, if they were made in specific, were there various factories or was there like one factory? There's a lot of history buffs out there that know more than me. 
turning it. I do like this longer handle. I don't know, they had a shave cream and a shave oil and a beard oil. I didn't check to see where they are made. So if you guys haven't made a YouTube channel yet or a video, and you try some of them, I'll be watching. By the way, I subscribed to the three of you guys who had already done this that I wasn't subscribed to. And surprisingly, they had no thumbs down. <laughs> And it kind of sucks that I, I was told that people in Europe can't get this or people in Canada can't get this because I don't think Walgreens is selling this on their site yet. Okay, it was very easy to hold on to. I'm here to tell you. Here's my Mercure, well, let's grab that to 34. This is the handle length. See? Here is the Black Beauty with a long handle. Very close. Very close. All right. You never watch my channel. I always forget to get the soap out of my ears. So I walk around looking stupid. I'll be in the movie theater and someone go, hey man, you got something behind your ears. For this skin, that blade and that razor combo work fine right out of the box. And again, if you've watched my channels, I usually nick myself. You know I do. I usually nick myself here for sure. I don't usually nick myself on my face, but my neck, I cut myself and I didn't do that this time. So to me, that's a positive thing. All right, let's put on some Jovan Musk. Feel the burn. Oh, there's, oh, surprisingly, there's a good burn, but not as, not as intense as snake bite or cloud of nine tails. Whew. All right. Well, hell, it worked for me. And 23 bucks is a lot better than 35 bucks. And I bet you that heritage, you were paying a lot for that clamshell, that, that nice fancy box. And again, the head appears to be uh, made in Germany. It appears to be a Mula. I'm not 100% positive, but it had the card with the German instructions in it. So if it was made in England, I doubt you'd have German instructions on it. So, and I've asked uh, Mark Mantic 59 who's much more of an expert than me. He's actually reached out to Procter & Gamble to find out more info on this and where it's made. But he, uh, he assumed it was Germany, too. He has not heard back from those folks yet. So, thank you for watching. Don't be too hard on me, all right? Thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for subscribing. And thank you to all of the uh, people on the front line during this COVID-19 crisis. And I hope we can turn a corner and get this resolved soon. Pretty much 2020. This year looks done. All you graduates that are about to graduate, uh, you know, virtual classrooms, everything. You know, God bless you, man. All right. Well, thank you very much. And until next time, it's Ken Sir saying have a great night. Stay safe.